This is Twit. Athlon's back. Like a $55 Athlon uh, CPU, is that what we're talking about here? The 200 GE? Yeah, this is a uh, super low cost, uh, low TDP, you know, low performance to go along with it. Revitalization, if you will, of the Athlon brand, the 200 GE. 3.2 gigahertz, uh, dual core part. So two cores, four threads, uh, three Radeon compute units. Uh, so again, fairly modest performance from a, from a graphical standpoint. Uh, but you can get a motherboard for about the same price. You're looking at $110 for your motherboard, your CPU, your graphics. Uh, you do need to buy memory, which, as we were talking about last night, is going to be unfortunate box. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be the, as much as your motherboard and your processor with the graphics integrated on it. So that's disappointing. Uh, and then some kind of storage, right? Whether you go with a, a small SSD or uh, a spinning disk hard drive or something like that, you can build a... Very reasonable performance gaming PC. If you want to do some 720p gaming on on uh, you know mainstream titles, Dota, League of Legends, Overwatch, you're going to be able to do that on this device. Um, and I think it's actually a, a, a pretty compelling part. They are going to have a couple of uh, higher end options with just higher frequencies. Uh, I don't think I'm trying to see if they talked about if they were going to have higher uh, uh, shader counts or or anything like that. Um, doesn't look like it, uh, but you know, don't expect a lot in terms of performance, like raw benchmark numbers, right? You're, you're competing kind of against the core I3 7350K, uh, in terms of raw CPU perf, the Pentium G4560, think that classification of, mm -hmm. of processor. That's what this Athlon 200 GE is really going after. I'm trying to looking through this. Uh, test so kind of the that it seems uh, like this the sweet spot of of steam gaming once you get a slightly improved when you know once you save up and spend another 50 or 100 bucks right. on a gpu um, yeah in terms of mm. in terms of the gaming like they they show uh fortnite 720p running at like 32 frames per second so not tremendous, but well, you know, more than double the Intel Pentium G4560 or the Core i3-8100. Um, so, you know, don't go, they, in these graphs, they're comparing them to, you know, Radeon 7950s and stuff like that for some reason. But uh, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 720p is playable. Counter-Strike, you know, you're getting about 70 frames per second with the Athlon 200 GE, again, at 720p. So pretty, uh, a, a, a good performing mainstream part so you'll be moving to that shortly <laughs> oh yeah just i'm just straight away i feel like you think actually how many build think a... how many of those you could buy for one rtx 2080 <laughs> 24 um <laughs> i think depending on whether we're counting tax or not the uh, right. i suddenly feel like a, a 400 gaming pc build is is within reach <laughs> 